Hi guys, Karina Gardner here, and today I'm here to show you my new Circus Party uh, train album that I've done for my Silhouette Shop. Uh, you can see that I'm using the papers from my Circus Party line for Cartabella, which you can purchase at your local scrapbooking shop. This album is so fantastic. It has a lot of great working pieces and a lot of different pieces so you can decide how you want to build your album. There are these essential pieces that I also use in the cover that are really beautiful and um, easy to use, work in any kind of album setting, but are specifically made to fit this album. There are also some envelope pieces that you can place photographs, cards, you can put little memorabilia in. Um, there are these really fun animal foldouts, so you can pull them out, you can put photos here, journaling, and they just add a bit of uniqueness to this journaling album. And then finally, the main piece of the album is the train accordion. And you can see here, if I pull this out, there are a lot of working pieces here, but you can build for yourself any kind of train album that you want using and choosing and selecting the pieces that you like the very best. And then of course you can put photographs on the back of them. So I'm going to show you how to put this together right now. So um, let's first take a look at the essential album pieces. You can see they've got a lot of awesome great different cuts here and um, you can use any of these for your cover and all you have to do is they come with a, a basics back and then a mat and what you'll do is just stick a little glue on that I'm just using a hot glue gun today because it's fast and glue it on and this is great to put a photo or some journaling anything that you think would um, enhance your album okay so those are the essential pieces and those come all together as a cut um, we also have these awesome pocket pieces and they come with a cute piece that you can put inside but, but it's also meant to fit a 4x6 photo or some journaling if you would like. So these are really easy. You can see that it comes with um, a back piece and then it comes with this envelope piece which you just fold over. I'm kind of sad to be putting that cute balloon paper in the back. but. Um, then you just glue down all of these edges and you can make your pocket go like this out or you can turn it around and have the pocket come on this side. So you can make the decision on that. I've got both of mine you can see here. I've got them both coming out. And then there is a matte piece just to give it extra accent. If you wanna pop dot it, it will give it extra dimension. I'm just gluing it down today. Just like that. And there you go, those are so cute, aren't they? Cute little envelopes. Um, let's talk about the animal pieces. So these are so darling. And um, if you want to get super creative with these, you can see you could cut out on your silhouette machine a photograph and have it fit to the seal uh, or the lion or the giraffe. So you could have some really awesome shapes in this album. You can see we've cut out three, you could cut out four if you want to put one on the back. So there's a seal, um, there's this darling lion. You can see one of, us is, one of them is polka dotted. Um, we have this cute giraffe piece and this will poke out on top of the album and then I was just going to show you so basically it's just uh, two elephants on the inside it's a mat or I'm using craft paper here and there's a dotted line so you'll just be able to fold it over and then you can glue on um, another elephant to the front or photograph or journaling or whatever you're going to do to make it unique and yours. Okay, so those are the animal pieces. Okay, let's get to the accordion piece. So the first piece is the engine. And you can see that there are multiple layers here and I've used pop dots. Um, what I would suggest, most of these are built basically the same. So here, these two I think are, are together um, for silhouette. Um, and I believe these two pieces are as well. And let's see cute little another little cage piece and um, a little open piece that you could throw a photograph behind or on top of and I just want you to notice we've given you 
um, on that um, a craft paper for the back piece. That's because we want you to be able to use it for photographs. And there's not a lot of places to put photographs here unless you wanted to put a fun photograph behind this little cage piece. But you can put photographs on the back. This will not fit a four by six. Um, you're gonna wanna cut it down to fit to the sizes here. And then um, there are some cute, you saw with this one, these little envelope pieces and they come with an extra animal if you want to throw that in or you can use the pocket to put a photograph or some journaling. So let's just throw one together really quick. You can see I have uh, uh, the caboose here with this elephant and the great thing is they're all kind of put together about the same way. You have um, the wheel pieces and then you usually have one or two layers here. So we have the craft piece which is on the back and then um, we are just going to glue this down. Like this. And then we're gonna glue this top piece down on top of that. And that'll give us the awesome elephant silhouette in this cute blue city, uh, sorry, um, circus party um, paper. Okay, and then um, I would use actually a glue stick. This, this can be tricky to cut out. So what I would totally suggest is um, put your speed setting on, um, I would put it on one while you're cutting these out on your silhouette machine. And I would just stick a little tiny bit of glue on the back of that. You notice know, so I'm not using the hot glue um, gun. I just think it ends up being too difficult to get it together and then just glue that down. I'm probably gonna need a little more glue on that, but that's basically it. And then I like to use pop dots. I love these kind of pop dots because um, I don't have to do that much work to get them um, to stick on. And then um, add those wheels. And that was pretty fast to put together. The longest part is actually getting it glued together and cutting it out. Okay, so now we're going to put together the accordion part of this train. So now with the accordion pieces, you can see that there is this darling little tab here, like a glue tab, and you're just going to take it and you're going to fold it over. Now you've got to make a decision about whether you're going to glue it an accordion this way or back. I'm going to glue mine forward and I'm going to use a little hot glue on it. And I'm just going to bring it over and I'm going to glue it just like that. And you can see that the wheels match up so you can see how that accordion gets started. Although I just did a boo-boo. This is my caboose so I'm going to have to pull that apart. Don't put your caboose at the very beginning. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna pull, actually I think, let's put this one next. So, throw a little extra glue on again, and fold it over, glue it down. And there you go, you can see that you're gonna build that accordion like that, okay? Then we keep going. You can see that um, there's two glue tabs here. If they're not glued together, just glue them together like that and then I'm going to this one because it's going this way I'm gonna fold it back out this way and um, let's do we're gonna do some of these shorter pieces first so I'm gonna do this actually let's do this one that'll be cute there throw a little glue on that and drop that on okay fold this one this way Turn it in, glue that one on. I've put together almost everything. We just have two more elephant pieces here. And then the caboose, which is meant to go on the end. Oop, I lost my elephant from my pocket. Okay, once again, your train's gonna look different. Depends on how many um, animals you decide to put on it. So this album is fully put together. Look how cute it is when the accordion part is all 
um, out. You can see how darling all the different pieces are. It's really sweet. And if you turn it around and put some darling photographs on the back, then you can display them or you can put them all in the accordion style, add all these other darling little pieces to the album, tie it off with some ribbon, and then um, you have this darling album that you can display or use just about for anything or as even as a fun little gift. Um, so if you are looking for these cutouts, you can purchase them from my silhouette shop. Um, go to uh, the link on your screen. Uh, if you're looking for the paper line, the paper line is produced by Cardabella and it's called Circus Party and you can purchase it at your local scrapbook store. Thanks.